Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Monday, April 2nd, 2018 and today in our Tech News Update we have uh, Cloudflare that has a new DNS service. It's 1.1.1.1 and we'll probably talk about it today because uh, we are going to try this out. It is a f the fastest DNS uh, query ever, apparently. So when you ask for websites, apparently it's faster. But also, it has an interesting anonymous side to it. And, um, you know, most uh, DNS and most internet service providers or most ser DNS servers will actually keep a log of all the IP address for all the queries for websites. Well, Cloudflare apparently does not, which means you're a little bit more anonymous on this website than uh, that or on this um, DNS uh, query server than uh, more than other ISPs basically. Well, if you are using the URL shortener Google or goo.gl, well, it will actually be and cease to exist um, about a year from now on March 30th of next year. Uh, Google has said that they will be actually removing this capability. A lot of people use these because they actually sh make the uh, websites a lot shorter in URLs when you want to share them with other people. So, of course, there's other alternatives, but right now it seems that Google wants to uh, kind of concentrate on other methods and other way of doing things. Well, as Microsoft is about to release the latest version of Windows 10, which is version 1803 in just about eight days, the latest reorganization is uh, actually making a lot of people wonder what is the future of Windows exactly. It is quite interesting, and I'll have a separate video on this today because it is a question that we need to ask. What is the future of Microsoft Windows? Well, SpaceX got the approval from the FCC to uh, blanket the Earth with 12,000 satellites that will deliver high-speed, low-latency broadband internet. It will cost billions of dollars, and uh, apparently it's going to work great. But, uh, wow, this is a very ambitious project, and 12,000 satellites is kind of a lot of satellites. So Facebook, of course, has this capability of removing a post that it deems to be, um, you know, not of interest or maybe bad content or something that could be, um, you know, really offensive. So now, in a soon-to-update Facebook, you will have the appeal button. So if you post something that somebody deemed offensive and Facebook removed it, you'll be able to appeal and say or explain yourself why this should stay on the social media website. In recent years, there's a lot of people that complain about this because they've posted pictures, for example, of, you know, uh, all sorts of, uh, for example, kids that disappeared or, you know, all sorts of things like that, that um, sometimes people would find offensive and would just say, hey, I want to see that in my feed. So we'll see what's going to happen here. Well, does Bitcoin mining or cryptocurrency mining make the price of hardware go up? Well, we've got a study that says that, uh, according to a survey, and they looked at the price of hardware, computer hardware, for the past 12 months, or mostly in 2017. They say that cryptocurrency mining made the prices of PCs up to 35% higher on average, and that cryptocurrency mining makes some parts of computers, like the GPUs, for example, for the graphics, much more expensive. They are the most affected by the price range. Also, RAM is another problem. So they say that there is a toll on actually hardware prices on cryptocurrency mining. Now, Chinese smugglers, and I guess not just China will be affected by this, but the uh, Chinese smugglers are increasingly using drones to transport illegal content from you know other countries into China. And in the latest of uh, bad guys have been caught, 80 million dollars worth of iPhones were smuggled by drones from Hong Kong into mainland China, which is kind of very interesting. And uh, of course, the uh, drones will probably be used to smuggle all sorts of things from country to country. 
YouTube says that there is um, really their platform with six second ads have been very, very uh, popular. It has changed the game in advertisement on the platform as more and more of the advertisers also learn to use that six seconds ads to really you know push their brands. Well, they will introduce another little thing in the six second ads. You'll be able to skip them after five seconds if you wish to do so, apparently. I personally don't see why they should do this because honestly, six second ads are just so small. But anyways, that's the way it's happening. If you are a Linux user, a Linux distro user, you might actually uh, find that if you have older computers, that soon the latest versions of your favorite Linux distro will actually not work. Why? Because the Linux kernel is getting a code cut. Basically, they want to trim it down, make it slimmer. And to do that, one of the things they will remove is, of course, code for older uh, CPU architecture. So this will deprecate older CPUs and basically uh, might actually prevent the latest version of the Linux kernel working on a much older machine. This was the Tech News Update for Monday, April 2nd, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and give you um, and, and hope you enjoy the videos on our channel.